we have north, east, south, and west. The way azimuths work is you start here at north and you move in a clockwise direction. So here's zero and it moves to 90 degrees east and the south is at 180 degrees. West is at 270 degrees and you work your way back up here to the origin at 360 degrees. Bearings are broken into quadrants and there's four quadrants. From zero to 90 is northeast. From 90 to 180 is southeast. From 180 to 270 is southwest. And from 270 to 360, that is the northwest quadrant. If you're given an azimuth that falls within the northeast quadrant, or from 0 to 90 degrees, it's just going to stay the same. All you're going to do is you're going to add a northeast to it. So we'll write stays the same. And if you're given an azimuth that falls within this quadrant here, all you're going to do is you're going to say 180 degrees and you're going to subtract the azimuth. And that's going to give you the bearing. And if you are given an azimuth that falls between this quadrant here, 180 and 270 degrees, you just take the azimuth and you subtract 180 degrees to give you the bearing. And if you're given an azimuth that falls within this quadrant here from 270 to 360, you just do 360 degrees minus the azimuth. So let's say that you're given an azimuth of what, 40 degrees, something like that. All you're gonna say is north 40 degrees east since it falls within this quadrant right here and say that you were given an azimuth of 112 degrees 112 falls in this quadrant here so you say 180 degrees minus 112 degrees and that equals south 68 degrees east. And if you're given an azimuth of 197 degrees, that falls in this quadrant here. So we do the azimuth 197 minus 180, and that would equal south 17 degrees west. And say you're given an azimuth of 284 degrees. That falls within this quadrant here. So you do 360 degrees minus 284 degrees. And that equals north 76 degrees west. Here are some azimuths. We have 30 degrees, 94 degrees, 203 degrees and 357 degrees. If you guys want to go ahead and try to convert those into bearings, leave your answers in the comments and I'll let you know if you got it right. Hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, just let me know and I can try to help you.